Hey everyone, Sean Savin Moo. Hey. What's it feel like to be Bryson DeChambeau? We've always wondered about that. So what we decided to do is play from the red tees. Yeah. And uh, this next hole that we're playing on hole number two, uh, because you know, we wanted to save face on hole number one. Yeah. <laughs> In front of the starters, they'd be wondering what the heck's going on. Why are they playing from there? Why are they playing from there? So uh, we're at 288 par four, which is just like a 382 par four that Bryson's been driving in Vegas. So uh, let's see how we can score for six holes on that. All right, here we go. All right, now. Sav has 181 to carry. There's a creek up front here. Normally, when we're playing from the, you play from the blue tees now. Yeah. For crying out loud, I'm playing from the blue tees because I'm 55 now, right? So, uh, so her and I are playing the same tee boxes now, and so it's only 181. So you can carry that easily. Moo is going to carry it with his hybrid, and I'm going to try and go for the green. Either way, it's a drive, a chip, and a putt, and one of us has got to make birdie. Yeah. All right. Oh, that was bombed. <laughs> oh man, right in front of the green, Sav. Boom! Well All done. All right, move, you're up. Ooh, Nashe is ready to rock. Okay, so left side of the green with a fade back to the flag stick. Let's see what we can do. That's going to be right side of green. That's long, though. That'd be pin high. Okay, here we go. Got a little pitch over the knoll here. Thankfully, the greens have just been spiked. They're very soft. So let's see how close we can put this. Gonna do a little Goldilocks. That's not enough. That's too much. That's just right. Right over that intermediate point. Oh yeah. That Come looks on. good. There we go, right below the hole, about six feet. Let's see if we can make it. All right, so I yelled forward because uh, I was landed, almost landed here on the green, on the <laughs> hole number seven. Seventh green right there. Yeah, so got a nice chip shot, about six, 30 yards it said? Yeah, 30 yards. Oh yeah, that looks good. Right. Good shot. That's Thanks. fine. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, green and rig. <laughs> so typically, Sav, on the second shot here, what would you have in your hands? Like a solid seven iron, right? Yeah. Because it's about 420, you get about 270, you got about 150 left into the wind usually. Yeah. And now you got a partial wedge. Yeah. That's different for you on this hole, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So you're just going to Goldilocks one below the hole right there. Yeah. Good. Trust him. Yeah, 
Yeah, you were lined up a little bit there, but pin high. We got a birdie try. That'll work. So, so far, so good. Three individuals, three greens in regulation, three partial wedges into a par four. So it's looking pretty good so far for Bryson. Come on up. Oh yeah, go. Good oh, that try. was the right line. Yeah, we'll give you that one. Good try. Greens have been spiked. All right, Sav, go for it. Right, you're, you're talking about a right to left putt, a little bit with the grain. Yeah. Come on, get in. Oh, good try, dear. Excellent. All right, here you go, Moo. All right, one of us has got to make it. But we have a good excuse because the greens have been spiked very recently and it's very bumpy right now. But the key is that's that's balanced. Just saw it go in. Oh, oh that, that snap left. Yeah. yeah. The grain, Dad, the grain. The grain, I'm so sorry. All right, let's try it again on the next hole. So here, once again, it's 370 from the back tee and uh, or from the blue tees, I should say. And from the red tees, it's 278. It's a little uphill. But now I can actually carry that bunker on the left-hand side, whereas normally I'd be short of that bunker off the tee. So this, is, uh, this makes it, again, very interesting and uh, looking forward to hitting the shot. All right, Sav, nice and smooth. Good, nice miss. Just right center of the fairway. That should be a half wedge into the green once again. So now your goal is just to stay to the left of that intermediate point at all costs with your release. There you go. All right, good miss, right down the middle. Yeah, good start. That'll be just short of the bunker where I'm normally with a, a, a big drive. Right. <laughs> okay, power fade again. Over the bunker on the left side, back to the pin, left edge of that intermediate point. Stay catch there. A, catch a piece of the right side. Oh, that looks good. Nice shot. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Button for Brady. So Sav, normally you wouldn't make it up that hill. You'd have an uphill second shot from about 150 yards on this hole. Yeah. Now we're Goldilocksing a long chip shot yeah. to a nice pin and you got lots of room to work with and you missed your drive. Yeah. Like yeah. you caught that a little thin. Yeah. And I'm in the bunker over there, which is going to be fun. Good shot. That's off. Trickle. Come on. Oh, that landed too soft. I know. Usually it would just run like crazy. These yeah. greens are really. They're spiked, right? Yeah, they've been spiked. Well, so you don't. for birdie, though. Yes, yeah. exactly. All right, let's go hit that bunker <laughs> shot. Okay. So just a little ridge to go over. Got my intermediate point. I'm going to try and get. I'm going to have to move the sand a little further out. I'm going to try and get the sand about uh, 10 feet shy of the club, or of, of the pin. So I'm gonna take the sand a little further out than I normally would because the greens are so soft. Oh, 
that looks good. Get up. Okay. Looks like about five feet. Five feet. Let's see if we can make a birdie this time, you guys. All right, what's this putt gonna do, Sal? Uh, it's gonna break a little right to left. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I just didn't start it right enough. Oh man, I was thinking the opposite. All right, now this one here, they, uh, they're repairing the red tees from up front. So we're playing basically mid tee at 140 instead of 150 at the back. But it's a nice hole, we wanted to show it to you. Oh, Sav, that should be good. Very nice. Savvy gets a thumbs up. <laughs> I was able to. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay. Nice, middle of the green. Good shot. Thank you. What'd you hit? Uh, 56. Nice. So, Sav, are you recording? Yeah, I, for, I accidentally didn't press record and I missed your and shot. You missed that beautiful shot that spun back, but it spun back off the green. So, I get, I'm get i going to do another one here. So, I'm going to use uh, my band's divot this time, which is perfectly parallel to yours. Yeah. And Moo was very smart, buddy. You went for the center of the green. You didn't go for that sucker pin. No. For me, it's a little draw back to that pin. So, I'm aiming for it. Then I'm releasing through your divot to the right side of it. Oh, oh that's nice. even better, Sav. Suck back in. Oh, oh wow. nice. Sit. Stop right there. Quit it. Quit it. All right. That's even better. Aren't you glad I missed the record button the first time? <laughs> Thanks for the mulligan, Sav. Okay, so this is Dad's first one. It actually landed just past pin high and sucked that all the way back. Sucked back this way and then yeah. it just veered off. Just took a nose dive. And then second one landed. I had to land that about 25 feet past the pin and it sucked, and it, and it sucked back to about five feet. Yeah, and then that one's mine right there. Mine actually stuck right in its spot. And moves just center of the green here. Very smart play. All right, this tough green. Good stroke. Just, that was the right pace, just a little higher. All right, that's two pars. All right. Left to right. There's my spot. Yes, that fits. Okay. See the ball roll over that spot into the hole. Oh my oh gosh. My. You lift out everything. It's just left edge everything. But you know, the other one was breaking the other way and I lipped out left edge. I gave it enough on that one. Yeah. Hey, they're going to fall at one point. All right. <laughs> now, this is what's fun with Bryson. He can pick very different lines than anybody else. Mm -hmm. He's cutting off a lot of the a lot of the holes. So in my case, I'm going straight over these trees here where normally from the back tee that would be in this creek here. But now I get access to that and I'll have a nice little wedge into this par five. Sav is gonna go just left edge of these trees with a nice draw and you should have basically uh, mid iron to this creek, yeah. right? And we're into the wind too. Yeah. All right, let's see it. Yeah, 
Yeah, you should be able to get a kick off that mound there. <laughs> So a little, um, a little tip on rules, you can have your feet outside the tee box as long as your ball is inside the tee box, we're good. So I actually changed my mind. I'm going to go with a nice power fade. I'm going to take it on the same line as Savvy and give it a little bit more cut because that's what I've been doing so far. Oh, that's going to be good. That's coming right around the center. Good miss. We'll have a little uh, short iron into the green from there. It'll be fun. That'll work. Good miss. Now, even when Moo misses off the tee here, the good news is he can still make the green. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, baby! That's going to be on the green. Little kick to the right. There it is, Moo. There we go. Nice. Right, nice shot. Thanks. Oh, that's really close up. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. So Sav gets relief off the cart path here. She's got 187 to the pin, taking her 200 yard club into the wind. Nice smooth four hybrid, Sav. Good. I think we got a second ball on the green. Just a little left edge. That's chip in territory. So we got 149. One and a half to two club wins right here, but I don't want to be over the green, so I'm going to stay short. Nice little low punch draw. Going with an eight iron. Oh, that looks that good. Freaking perfect. Be the club. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice. We got an eagle putt now. Now we're cooking. So we got Sav over here, Moose over there on the back fringe. That was a monster five wood dude. Thanks. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then I think I, I got it past the pin. I think I almost hit the flag stick and I, I sucked back to that point right there. Yeah, you're so we have an eagle chip and two eagle putts. Let's go. So I'm in for my birdie. Moves is gonna break a little bit left to right. It's a little downhill as well. Let's get the angles for you. Come on, turn. It's turning, it's turning, it's turning. Oh, All right, nice. good touch. Another kick in birdie. Kick in birdie. Okay, so this has got a break to the left, right, Sav? Yeah, a little bit. And then a little bit of a break and a little bit of grain. Eagle putt, here we go. All right, can't leave this short, so I gotta see this roll in and hit the flag. Oh, get nice. in! There, finally! <laughs> All right. We made a putt! Just like Bryson, he misses a bunch of birdies and makes a couple of eagles. Yeah, makes up for it. <laughs> So it's starting to smell, sound, and feel a lot better. <laughs> uh, like uh, a little more like Bryson now too. One eagle and two birdies. So now number six. This is a nemesis for many, many of our members. And we're usually teeing off from all the way down there. And you see the mirror at the back of the tee box? That's because the landing is blind. Like extra super blind. And there's right. even a mirror right here. There's a mirror up here. However, we got 310 yards to the green. 
which means we can take a V line for the green. It'll open up as we get closer to the green and be a nice chip and putt proposition mm -hmm. because this is the thing. The fairway slopes from right to left and there's a ridge where if you're too far to the right, it kicks into the woods. Yeah. And if you're too far to the left, it kicks into the woods. Yeah. It is a royal kick in the pants kind of <laughs> hole. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is going to be enjoyable. Okay, good. So, um, we're going for the left corner of the trees. We're a little downwind. If I can, I'm going to go smooth. So I don't overcook the shot. Smooth. And, uh, we should be good here. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna play a fade um, because I do not want to release towards the left side treble. There you go. Smart. <laughs> oh, good ball salve. Hey, a bit more. Uh, that should be good. It's right on the big tree where we normally aim for. So I'm going to go with a four iron on this hole. <laughs> he doesn't trust himself yet. <laughs> but he still smokes a four iron like 250, so <laughs> we can't see. Still going to be a little short pitch in there. Yeah. Ah, oh, good ball. Nice. Move. Now you got a good swing in there. Good stuff. There we go. Good shot, babe. Thanks. Okay, so Moo, it's got 91 yards left. Turn back in a little bit. All right, we're on the green. Good line. Oh, you chicken down. Chicken down. <laughs> that looks good. Sit. Back stop. Roll back down. Come on. Come on. All right. That's fine. This storm is looking a little gnarly. Got lots of thunder rolling in, so we'll try and get one more hole in at least. Bryson style. It keeps getting darker and darker, well, guys. Like, that's how dark it is right that now. That is dark, you guys. So, yeah, we picked up on those putts because yeah. <laughs> we want to get the flock out of here. <laughs> and uh, so just to give you one more hole, number seven is normally 450 from back there. That's a tough hole, and it's not rolling right now. They even spiked the fairways. So we're up here at 315. That's much better. That's yeah. more Bryson-like. <laughs> Yeah. Stay with that one. Yeah. Nice fade from the right side, right back down the middle. Yes. Now, on camera, it looks like you're going for the bush, but that thing came back to the left rough. That was really good. Yeah, so I think I was just lined up wrong. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You'll see it when you see on video. Okay. Go hard. Come on. Short. So the closest I have ever been on this hole after a bomb drive is about 130. And you got 74 yards left to the pin. Yeah. How fun is that? 
I don't think we've been here before. No. That is the wrong club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, that's lightning. What were you hitting there? A 50. Oh, a 50. <laughs> been seen. Uh, at Never. 10 degrees, I think, huh? Yeah. So take it to the center of the green. Don't be shy. So it's a nice full 60. Just a little short. Well, we almost made the green. The wind is coming this way. So uh, we've got about 45 yards of the pin. Gonna have to be a Goldilocks. It's gonna have to be a high fade Goldilocks. So a, a semi flop shot. Let's see if we can pull this off. Good. That's pretty good. Okay. Nice. That'll do. Pin high, about 10 feet left. So, Moo and I just landed short, short. Um, it's lightning and thunder coming, so we're just gonna pick up and go. <laughs> oh no, it's happening! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> No! I hate thunder! Oh my! <laughs> oh my! So we are absolute. Look at this, just drenched. <laughs> oh. How crazy was that? We we just got caught in something that I've never seen before. I'm sure there was a little tornado there somewhere because we got hail, we got big gusts, oh and uh, we had to stay away from the trees. And we're back. And um, of course, what brought about that storm was a cold front. And today it's cold, right, Sav? Yeah. It is freezing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, we made it home safe and sound. We had actually a couple more of those, uh, you know, storm clouds roll in, a couple more squall lines that were right behind that sucker. Yeah. So uh, that, was, uh, that was a very interesting afternoon, to say the least. Yeah. Well, now we have the sun. We got the, sun, the sunglasses on. And the consensus is that if you were to take a shot out of the rough from, say, 150, mm -hmm. and then compare that to a shot out of the rough from, say, 40 yards, with a little bit of Goldilocks action, a little bit of practice there, I think the odds of that shot from 40 yards I like better, personally. Mm -hmm and you become a, a much better artist at it as well. And the days that you are driving it really straight and putting it in the fairway, that's when you start to win and make top fives and become a dominant player. Mm -hmm. And that's what I see for Bryson, because he is driving it very, very straight, uh, a lot straighter than what I am. Um, basically, you know, I had a nice pattern going, some, some nice power fades. I was pin high on the right, but had the pins been less favorable it would have been a lot more difficult and and the birdie tries wouldn't have been uh, as, easy. as easier as 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 short yeah yeah so uh more to come can't wait to see him at the masters that's going to be off the charts the anticipation for that's got to be driving a lot of people crazy so we'll see you next week where we're going to be doing some uphill downhill side hill lies that are not going to knock your socks off all the best <laughs>